It's umsum time. What if we drink too much tea? Nothing is too much for the great umsum. <laughs> oh, umsum. Tea plants absorb high amounts of fluoride from soil. Hence, tea leaves are a major source of fluoride. Small amount of fluoride is good for our dental <laughs> health. But high doses of fluoride can prove to be detrimental to our health. Hmm. Excess tea consumption can lead to dehydration. <sighs> tea contains antioxidants called tannins. Tannins have a number of health benefits, but their high intake may cause iron deficiency in our body as they interfere uh -huh. in the body's ability to absorb iron. Tea is also a source of caffeine, whose overconsumption can lead to insomnia, low potassium levels, as well as caffeine-induced anxiety disorder. Overconsumption of tea may worsen pre-existing medical conditions like anxiety or diarrhea. Finally, overconsumption of tea with artificial sugar will not be good news for your waistline. Hmm. What if we drink too much coffee? Too much of anything is bad. This is the new Umsum mantra. Wow, Umsum. Coffee contains oh. a drug called caffeine. Hmm. Overconsumption of caffeine will lead to the following problems. Huh? Firstly, it will lead to caffeine-induced anxiety hmm. disorder. Secondly, we will suffer from insomnia. Huh? That is, we will not be ah. able to sleep. We might stare at the stars all night. Thirdly, potassium levels will go down, which will lead to heart palpitations or irregular heartbeat. Fourthly, Caffeine being acidic, it might damage the lining of our digestive tract and further worsen existing stomach ulcers. Fifthly, caffeine can act as a diuretic, leading to excess urine production and thus dehydration. Sixthly, caffeine has great laxative properties, but too much consumption can also lead to diarrhea. Lastly, overconsumption of caffeine may lead to development of chronic liver diseases. What if we drink uh -huh. too much water? Water is super cool. Drink as much as you wish. Wrong, Gumsum. Drinking too much water uh -huh. is not the problem, but drinking too much water in a short span of time is. Oh. If we drink water beyond the processing capability of our kidneys, then they are not uh -huh. able to eliminate the excess water. As a result, water uh -huh. level increases in our blood and sodium level goes down. This condition is known as hyponatremia, or water intoxication. Sodium is an essential electrolyte which balances fluids inside and outside our cells. The imbalance caused by water level going up and sodium level oh. going down causes the fluids outside our cells to move inside. As a result, our cells begin to swell. This swelling can cause multiple health problems. Also, if swelling takes place in our brain cells, then we can get headaches or nausea. This condition can also prove to be fatal. What if we only oh. eat fruits? No problemo. You eat all the fruits, I will eat all the burgers. Oh, um some. Huh? <laughs> fruits are a major source of potassium, dietary fiber, vitamin C, and folate. Potassium helps in maintaining healthy blood pressure, ah. thus reducing chances of a stroke. Dietary fiber helps in relieving constipation and reducing blood <laughs> cholesterol levels, thus lowering the risk of heart diseases. Vitamin C is responsible for the growth and repair of body tissues. Folate is vital in the formation of red blood cells. Now, on the flip side, as fruits contain high sugar content, they may prove to be harmful to diabetic <laughs> patients. Also, eating a lot of them may lead to weight gain and tooth huh? decay. Lastly, relying only on fruits may lead to nutritional deficiencies, which may further lead to immune system dysfunction. Hmm. What if we accidentally eat plastic? No plastic, no pollution is the umsum mantra. Hmm? Wow, umsum. <laughs> Firstly, plastic is not biodegradable. As compared to organic waste, ah. it takes hundreds of years to decompose. <laughs> but if the quantity of swallowed plastic is small, then it will not be a problem. Ah. Our body pushes out the materials which it cannot digest. Hmm. Problems might occur ah. if the quantity of swallowed plastic is large. Our body will not be able to push it out. It will stay in our gut, 
and might partially prevent further food digestion. In extreme cases, this may also prove to be fatal. Also, many plastics are chemical laden. These chemicals are commonly known as phthalates. They are used to make plastics more flexible, transparent, ah. hard to break, as well as to increase their longevity. Phthalates are extremely harmful to our body. They can damage our liver, kidneys, lungs, and reproductive system. 